Good morning, guys. It's early in the morning. It's about seven o'clock. Uh, we're here in France, and uh, I decided to make another one of those follow-along vlog-style videos. We're just about to finish a cave class here in France. Um, they basically finished the course yesterday. Today we're doing the experience dives where they're going to have fun and use the skill they've learned. They're, I don't know if you can hear it, but they're still snoring upstairs. I'm going to go for a little run here to walk this morning because it's fairy tale country we're living in at the moment. It's really beautiful here. Um, it's like you travel back in time, to be honest. Um, the cars and the streets are are out of place, you know what I mean? These, these, I mean, look at the house we're living in. It's like, this is like normal. It looks like a decor from a film that's made in 1800 or something. Anyway, so I'm gonna go for a little, little run to wake up, and then when we get back, I have some breakfast and uh, go for a little dive. See you in a minute. Wait on others to be what you've been called to be. You can't wait on their affirmation. You can't wait on their approval. You can't wait on their support. Sometimes you've just got to run and look behind you and say, everybody who wants to run, run. But I can't stop running because you're not running with me. Listen, listen to me, hear me. You can't stop chasing your dream just because somebody in your life won't chase it with you. You can't stop believing in yourself just because somebody in your life won't believe in you. You can't who knew? stop chasing the dreams of your life just because... I've heard about you this cave. But I didn't know it was so close to where we live. I've only been running for like two and a half kilometers. But apparently here it is. Oh well, but that's for next time. Onwards and upwards. On second thought, I can't pass by this cave without looking at the entrance. Here it is, guys. The entrance, the Marsepied. Cave water slowing out into the river Sele. to come here if I tell them that the cave is just close to where we live. We'll see. Okay, we have a bit of a situation. My GPS is telling me go straight, but there's a field. I just crossed that little hedge or a little a little fence over there. It's a big field to run around. Anyway, it's a plowed field, so I guess no one will care. Corn field with like leftover eaten corn cobs, so there must be some gnawing creatures eating the corns that don't get harvested and now I just hope that the path or little track is continuing on the other side of this field oh well yeah stay in bed you won't have this little adventure oh, I seem to have found the track I wasn't paying attention and I missed an exit on my trail uh, so but hey instead of running back crossing around because look I'm on my way to the route the, the purple line with the arrows is the route you think someone like me could follow a line with arrows wouldn't you say <laughs> anyway almost there E 
these shoes are made for this. Made it, back on track. Now look, I don't know if you can tell, but this is the track. I'm kind of excused, right? Not being able to spot it. Anyway, I'm a bit behind now, so I better make up some time. turning more into a hike than a run but hey it's all good at it's supposed to be an easy run anyway it's turning into an easy run and a hard hike oh, oh. civilization good lord that's nice, nice. Almost home again. Back to normal pace. Five, five to five ten per kilometer. So flat roads. Very, very rare here in this area. But man, look at the view. Ah, oh, made it. A little bit over eight kilometers. Slow as hell, but that's due to the hills and the tracks. Anyway, back up, shower, breakfast, dive plan. Now I'm eating yaya. Yeah. Right? Yaya. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which means egg in Slovak. <laughs> and this guy, Radislav. He's not only a good cave diver, he makes fantastic scrambled eggs. Fantastic. Yeah. How do you say fantastic again? Popici. Popici. Popici, exactly. So, let's dig in, I guess. So, time for a little bit of dive planning. Guys are have decided to go to, to Brazil and uh, want to see how far they can get along the main line, gas and time permitting. While the guys are packing, I'll just show you a little bit more about the street that we live in. Look at this man. It's like just enjoying a cup of coffee. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this is where people live. For real, right? Look, I mean that Citroen just doesn't fit in, right? Even though it's a French car and we're in France, you'd expect a guy on a horse with a high hat coming on. Just bonjour, click, 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 click. Anyway, better head back. See you after finished packing up. They're a cozy bunch make good breakfast, have interesting stories, but they're not the fastest bunch. It's, uh, it's 11 ish. We <laughs> need to get going, but uh, hey, it's their party. So we'll just take it easy. drive from here so uh, <laughs> see you later
here we go very nice place not the filling station have a lot of stuff and a fantastic filling panel look at this you know andre you look like bane from the batman film it's not important who we are important is our plan so filled the gas now we've arrived at the dive site as you can see there are many divers here there's even other divers from Denmark. Look at there, Casper. He's yeah. everywhere. So we're here in the river and the cave is underneath the river. A little bit up that way. We we'll go on the bottom of the river and then on the bottom of the river we'll find the cave.
That was a nice dive. Just came up. Fantastic. Visibility could have been better. Usually it's even even much better. As you no doubt have seen on the video, it's a little bit milky. Um, and normally it's crystal clear here, but um, like a month and a half ago, there was a big, big storm, actually two storms right in a row. And that kind of still uh, bears effect here. But um, we had a nice dive. What do you think, Martin? Was it a good dive? It was a really nice dive. Yes. Fantastic. Radislav, what do you think? Was a nice dive? Very nice. Very nice. Cool. Very nice. Cool. More? Yeah. More? Yeah. Gas fill, more fill? Oh. Good. More. Lunch? One more dive. So, we're back again. Just filled the gases. Ready for more diving? Yeah. Sure. Okay, we're gonna do um, uh, what is called a little jump, meaning we're gonna go and explore another section of the cave. Um, the main line uh, splits off, uh, but you have to make a jump. You have to like connect with a little spool, a little piece of string from the main line to this other line, so that you're connecting a continuous guideline. So we're gonna see where that tunnel leads. So. Um, Second dive, last dive for the day, last dive of the course. Let's see if they behave and they get awarded UTD cave diver classification. I think they will. They've been doing a good job so far. Don't tell them yet. You can't wait on their affirmation. You can't wait on their approval. You can't wait on their support. Sometimes you just gotta run and look behind you and say, everybody who wants to run, run, but I can't stop running because you're not running with me. Listen, listen to me, hear me. You can't stop chasing your dream just because somebody in your life won't chase it with you. You can't stop believing in yourself just because somebody in your life won't believe in you. You can't stop chasing the dreams of your life just because when you know when you do it, you're gonna have to do it all by yourself. dark now or it is getting it is gotten dark we came out um, had a little talk with the locals because there were two divers there having a bit of an issue low blood sugar or something like that so she was one girl of the team that wasn't feeling too good so had a little talk with them didn't really film our exit or packing up sorry for that but we're on the car in the car now on the way to dinner <laughs> it's been really hard to find a, a, a town to figure out a restaurant here because either we come to towns and the restaurants are all closed or like in this case we come to a town and it's like did you make a reservation? Uh, no we didn't okay we get degraded to like the tourist areas it's cold in here it's not cozy like it is in the main restaurant as you can see over there but I feel a little bit like if you've seen the movie Titanic, we're we're there where where the Italian kid is basically. It smells like a hospital here. Anyway, the food looks nice. 450 grams of steak for 90 euros. Can't complain. Popici. Popici, yeah, very <laughs> nice. All right. So you know, many of uh, UTD instructors are more than just a one-trick pony, and. Andrew here is is not 
an exception to that rule. He is a connoisseur when it comes to wine, right? He has a nose that the French would be um, kind of jealous. jealous of. Tell us about this wine. How is the mm. bouquet? Nice color. Mm. Fruity. Mm. I think so it's a red wine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See? I mean, we're not joking. Red wine. Good. We like red wine. Well, you're not wrong. It says so here. Red wine. All right, dinner has arrived. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for a wonderful week. You did a very good job. So congratulations to these two new UTD cave divers. So, cheers. All right, guys, that was this for um, this little vlog. I hope you enjoyed uh, uh, a little sneak peek of our day during one of these cave classes. We're gonna enjoy this nice dinner, drive home, and enjoy some well-deserved nap time. As always, guys, see you out there and stay sharp. <laughs>